What is going on? James from Act Audio. And I want to do a quick video for you guys. Uh, a lot of people question our 10% shop fee that we use. Um, and they, you know, I had a customer recently tell me it was a little ridiculous. Uh, we charge 10% on the labor for extra materials and, and things that we use. And um, basically that's our shop supply that goes to our shop budget to buy shop product. So uh, the, more, the more labor, obviously the bigger the job, the more shop supplies you're gonna use. So we're doing a motorcycle right now and I wanna show you guys you know, what we're currently using for um, supplies on this bike. So the first thing, here, let's put this back, is we got this Tesla tape here, um, protection film. We have two kinds. We have a white one and this one. Um, this stuff's expensive, like a, a full roll. Uh, it's 450 bucks. Last time I looked, it's probably gone up because of COVID. And yes, this will do a lot of cars, but it's very expensive. Um, you know, you're talking close to 500 bucks for a roll of it. Um, so I'm gonna I'm gonna flip the camera around. I'll show you some more. All right, so you can see while we're waiting to continue working on these, we've actually protected it. So we're using some of that tape, so it, you know, doesn't risk any damage to your equipment. Um, here, we're actually cutting into this bag, and you can see we've taped up the entire outside. So we're using a lot of tape. Um, we're using, you know. We got a grinders we got to replace, blades we got to replace. We're using glue, CA glue. This stuff's very expensive. Uh, we're using hot glue. Um, let's see. I'm trying to think of what else we're using on this one here. Yeah, I'm going to go over the bike and I'll show you some more. Oh, I found the other bag. So here is another bag. We actually had to put this meshing in. So that's part of our materials. We had to use screws and I know it's all little things, but it adds up. We're gonna put some caulking around this. So there's some more shop supplies. If we head out to the bike, you'll see this fender is covered with a more thicker material um, because it's good for if things drop. We also usually put fender covers on it. Um, when we wire up our wires, we have to use solder and heat shrink. Uh, some more protection, as you can see, being protecting the bike. Uh, we ended up needing grills on this bike here, and we uh, had to order some grills today for the eights. They're gonna go in here. Uh, oh, they're already in there. So the eights, we have to get some grills for this. Uh, and we're actually not charging the customer for those grills because we gave the customer a total price. Let me flip this around again. So like I was saying, we're not charging the customer for um, the grills because we gave them a total price and we don't like to be that nickel and dime company that we're gonna um, nickel and dime you and, and things like that. So we do the 10%, we win some, we lose some. Um, and you know, if we need little parts and things like that, we just throw it in. So another another example is, I'm not sure if it's over here, so bear with me. Now I threw it away. But when we make mistakes and we mess up and we got to use more materials. So like he already did this cloth once, so we had to use it again. Um, you know, we had to go to the hardware store and buy some bolts to fit in the lowers on that bike. Uh, you know, we're not passing that charge on to the customer either because that's all coming out of our 10% shop fee. So our shop fee there is kind of a grace for us to use a lot of the stuff that we use, protect the bikes, protect the vehicles, whatever the situation is. Um, and for a lot of little things that we use in the shop that people don't realize, um, not only that, but wear and tear on our tools, our shop tools, um, so that you know we can replenish them because it does get pretty exhausting. So I hope that helps explain you know why we have a shop fee and helps you guys better understand that we're not just trying to to make money from you, we are actually using a lot of shop supplies to... Um, Ethan, what else have we used on that bike? Nuts, bolts, screws, Nuts, the cloth, bolts, tape, protection film. Protection film, grills, um, loom, grills. Oh, wire loom, and we, we use... Uh, wire. We also, 
the, the uh, exterior Tesla tape that we use uh, when we're running in pinch point areas. It's a very strong, I mean, it's hard to stab with a knife. So we wrap uh, pinch point areas in that to prevent it from pinching through in the future. Solder. I said solder, heat solder, shrink, heat shrink. Um, tape, um, not the tape I showed you, but uh, electrical tape, labels. All sorts of shit. Yeah, that's, that's pretty much it. But I think you guys get the point now. So that's why we have a shop fee. It covers all that BS stuff. Um, you know, I've had a customer ask me why we don't itemize it because we never know what we're going to have to actually use. Um, at the end of the day, we could do an itemized list after the job is done. Um, but, you know, I present that shop fee to you in your estimate as the total price. So it's not like I'm adding it on top. I'm not like surprising you. So if we came to an agreement of $3,000, $3,000 plus tax, your shop fee is part of the $3,000. It's not part of the tax side that gets added in. Um, so it shouldn't be an issue because it's part of the bill and it's upfront with the bill out there. Thanks for watching. Any questions on the shop fee, hit me up down below and we'll chat.